And we are jumping right back into the highlights on the fever with Arthur Lovington Atwood Hammond visiting Arcola. I oh. got hit there again. <laughs> Illinois recruit Caden Fagan playing quarterback today, and he makes the completion to Jace Parsons. Dives into the end zone there for the touchdown and first score of the game. Riders respond at the end of the first as Austin Coots takes it up the sideline for a big first down. Drive continues at the start of the second, and Bo Edwards finishes the job as our Pola ties it up at seven apiece. This one goes to our Pola, 51 to 14. Anvil rolls out the welcome match for Peoria and Notre Dame. Both teams come in three and two. Pick this one up in the second quarter. Here is Willie Tangle handing to Will Ludolph for some yards here, and Peoria making Good use out of its trip east. Tangle hands off to Charles Dawson for the score 22-6. Irish at that point, and they go on to win it 36-16. Centennial on the road at Bloomington, looking to snap a three-game losing streak. Brady Boatwright to Braylon Peacock, who makes the man miss for a nice game. Play the week winners doing some more work there. Raider quarterback fumbles. It'll be later recovered by Centennial. And then they're able to find the end zone later on. Peacock does it. It'll be 40 to 20. Chargers get the road dub on the road. Yeah, that uh, play of the week connection. Looking good. Central's only win this season so far has come on a forfeit. They'd like to change that tonight. Hosting winless Peoria Manual late in the first half. Peoria throws the screen quickly. Shut down by Matthew McMullen and Javier Cooper. Good defensive play. Crowd out to see it tonight. Loving it as well. Early in the third, B.J. Cranford rushing to uh, get a few yards there. More from Central here, trying to cut it up the middle. There was that pickup. Some more defense. Look at Coach here. You got to get back. You got to <laughs> guard him. Able to find the end zone there is Manuel, but next central possession, Amari Moffin picks up the fourth down conversion. 22-20, Maroons a win. St. Joseph Ogden trying to get back to 500 on the season, welcoming Bloomington Central Catholic in the middle of the first. Snap goes over the punter's head, giving the Spartans great field position after the turnover on downs. SJO would capitalize later on as Evan Ingram finds the end zone on the quarterback scramble to put SJO up early. Later in the half, Ethan Van Lu snags the interception and takes it 100 yards. Sorry, spoiler, but Brett, I think this is another. What, is he going to go in? Is he going to stay? In? Oh, no, he's going. <laughs> there he goes. 100 yards. And I think we can expect SJO to make a playoff push here as they get above 500, winning this one 33 to nothing. He gone. Uh, that's going to be a <laughs> as well. Our last prep visual stop takes us to Decatur with the city showdown between hosts Eisenhower and MacArthur, Ike and Mack. Both teams pumped up for this one. Generals get the ball first and waste no time. Rylan Phillips with the QB sneak touchdown. And Phillips goes to work in the air, finding Carlos Brown for a short gain. And that sets up another toddy. It's Phillips calling his own number. Big night for him, and it's all Mac in this one. 51 to nothing. Our top three is next. Plus, we check in with Illini football, basketball, and volleyball. Looking for a statement win on the road. That's all next.